As you guys know, I spend a ton of time hunting comics in the wild. And there is one thing that I never leave home without. If you want to know what I'm talking about, stay tuned for the video. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. This is going to be a product review of BCW's store folio. Several people have reached out to me since BCW started to sponsor the channel, and they've spoken very highly of the store folio. Other people have reached out to me actually asking me to review the store folio because of my relationship with BCW. And so I want to do that. Over the course of this video, I want to talk about the features and functionality of the store folio. I want to talk about my experiences with it. I want to talk about pricing because pricing is important to you guys. So I want to speak to that. And I also want to showcase for you some of the variety that is available when you start to talk about store folios. Before I get to those things, I want to talk briefly about how I was first exposed to the store folio. I was actually traveling for work and I was down in Texas. I hit up a local comic shop in a strip mall. I bought some books and I spent a little money and I realized I didn't have a safe way to transport those comics home. The comic shop owner pointed me to a corner, told me to grab one of the black boxes. I did. I grabbed it, I paid for it, I paid for my books, I shoved my books inside, and I was able to safely transport my comics from Texas to California inside of my luggage with no problems. And once I arrived at home, I realized that I could actually use that black box, which turned out to be a store folio, for other purposes. I began using it to transport my comics you know, from the local comic shop home. When I'm out hunting or if I'm just picking up books on New Comic Book Wednesday, I will actually carry my store folio with me. And you, if you've been watching my videos, especially the videos where I'm out hunting, you probably spotted the store folio in the car or in the shop or whatever because I actually use this thing every single week and sometimes a couple of times a week depending upon what's actually going on. So now, with that said, let's go ahead and jump into some of the features and functionality of the store folio. There are basically two versions of the store folio available. There is a smaller version, which is this one, which is designed for current and silver comics. And then there is a larger version for magazine size things. The smaller version can actually accommodate 15 to 20 comics. 15 bagged and boarded comics or 20 raw books. The larger version for magazines can actually accommodate 20 magazines. Both of them, both the small and the large, both feature a magnetic closure that actually securely snaps in place and keeps your books tucked safely inside. Now, I've actually used this store folio, as I've mentioned, and I've never actually had a problem with the flap actually accidentally opening up and having my book spill out, which gives me a lot of comfort. It's never happened, and I think that that's a wonderful thing. Uh, I think that there are three magnets inside the flap that actually secure this thing safely in place. So let's talk a little bit about some of the features and functionality. This is your most basic store folio. It is a bl basic black store folio. This one has a nice pocket on the front, a pocket on the side, and, a, and it has a protective coating everywhere that those pockets are. So this is your most basic, and this one runs about $10.95 for this particular option. That is the lowest price point for a store folio, and they actually go up to about $18. The primary difference between this version and an $18 version is the licensing fees that have to be paid to the publisher. That's the big difference. BCW has to pay fees in order to use some of the designs. And that's why you'll see uh, a swing in the price point from 10 to 12 to 16 up to $18 is because of the licensing fees. Now, there's some other different features, of course, that come along with that. There is a ton of variety when you start talking about these store folios. They come in a host of different designs. The features are essentially the same, but it's the design that sets them apart. So we just showed you the basic store folio at about $10.95. 
So if we were to take a step up from that and maybe go with something like this, a really cool red Sonya, this thing has a great design on the front, on the back and also on the spine as well. Same flap enclosure, but it has a really, really nice design on the inside. This one will run you about $16. Again, because of the licensing fees that have to be paid, that's why this one tends to be more expensive. If you were to take a step up from that and go with something maybe a little more popular, like The Walking Dead, this one will run you about $18 for this option. Great design on the front, fantastic design on the back, nice uh, call out on the spine here, and then this one also has a really nice design on the inside as well. I wanna show you guys some of the additional designs for the Storfolios, but let me tell you, you have to go to the website to really see the full scope of what BCW has to offer because they have a lot more than what I'm able to show you here. And they're also adding some additional ones. So you definitely want to check out the website. I'll put a link in the description that will take you directly to the page for the storefolios where you can see the spectrum of designs that they have. One of the cool designs that BCW offers actually isn't a design. But but it's cool. And it is it's this one right here. It is this blank sketch store folio. Now, this one is different because, well, for a couple of reasons. It's blank. It has no coating. It's stark white paper. And this one is designed for you to take with you to a con or something like that to be able to get sketches and signatures from your favorite creators. And I think that's what really makes this one cool. It, it has the same magnetic closure as the other, but it does not have a design. It's waiting for you to actually get it designed by your favorite creator. So I think this one's really cool. Another one that I think is awesome is another Walking Dead storefolio. This one has a really cool design featuring some of the other characters from the comic and also from the TV show. Definitely a cool one there. Here is Exo Man of War. Really cool one here. I actually just picked up Exo Man of War number one, so I think this one's really cool. Uh, next up, we have this one that actually looks like a book. You can actually see the spine here and then the inside, if you will, of the pages. I think this one's really cool. Next, we have another Walking Dead, also designed on the front, back, and spine. This one's awesome. I, I definitely dig that one as a fan of the Walking Dead TV show. Here's another cool one with some word clouds and thought bubbles and things like that. Just a, a whimsical design. And then lastly, here is uh, the Vampirella. This one's cool, has uh, some designs on the front, back, and also on the spine as well. But again, if you guys want to see the full spectrum of what BCW offers, you definitely want to check out the website to see all of the designs that they have available. As I mentioned earlier, the current slash silver sized store folio can accommodate 15 to 20 comics, 15 bags and boarded, 20 raw comics. It actually measures eight by 11 by two. I'll put the dimensions for the inside in the description of the video in case you guys wanna check that, but rest assured that it can accommodate your current and silver size comics. I'm also going to put in the description the measurements for the magazine size so that you guys can have that information as well. So as I mentioned, the store folios range in price from about $10.95 up to about $18. You can actually buy them locally at local comic shops or you can purchase them from BCW's website. If you go to the website, you'll notice that they sell the store folios individually and also in bundles of 10. If you buy them in bundles of 10, they are discounted and at different rates. So you definitely want to check the website to see how much you can actually save yourself. And if you spend over $80 on BCW's website, you can actually get free shipping. Be sure to visit BCW Supplies to learn about their 950 plus products for collectors. Products include card sleeves, display cases, comic bags, storage boxes, and gaming folders, just to name a few items. Head over to bcwsupplies.com today for more information.